I'm Hilding Amqvist from Lund in Sweden. This presentation is about MODIA, modeling multi-domain engineering systems with Julia, such as cars, airplanes, and energy systems. MODIA is a collaborative project with Martin Otter, Andrea Neumeyer, and Gerhard Hippmann at DLR in Germany. Martin and I have a background in Modelica. We started to experiment regarding similar modeling power using Julia in 2017. This led to Modia 0.3. Based on these experiences, we started a completely new design in autumn 2020. This talk will describe the essentials. Unification of constructs, use of differential equations. Andrea will talk about the coupling of Modia A causal models and Modia 3D, the multibody part. I will then talk about scalability and conclude. The basis for modeling in MODIA is differential equations and algebraic equations. This is demonstrated by a first order filter. Parameters can be defined with units, like the, such as the time constant in this case. The variable can have attributes such as the initial conditions. Equations are given as an array of coded expressions, since so symbolic manipulations will be done. In this case, the input is defined with an algebraic equation. A differential equation uses the DER operator to define the time derivative of variables. The Julia commands to uh, simulate and plot are given below. Physically oriented modeling means connecting component instances, such as a resistor, a capacitor, and a voltage source, and setting parameters. Connections can be a causal. An electrical wire is characterized by a voltage potential, V, and a flow variable, the current, I. This, is, this defines a pin. Many electrical components are so-called so one ports. Uh, they have two pins, in this case called P and N, and some equations. A resistor inherits a one port, adds a model with a resistor, resistance parameter and one equation, Ohm's law. A similar thing is happening with a capacitor. An electrical circuit is created by instantiating models such as a resistor and merging with a map. That is a instantiation, a new instance called R based on the resistor model and merging with a map or to set the parameters. Such components are then connected by referring to the component pins in a connect statement. So for example, connect v.p to r.p. As pointed out earlier, the new design of MADIA is a new unification of constructs. And a model, and it uses dictionaries and a merge operator. A model is a hierarchical dictionary of variables and components and an array of equations. A var is a dictionary of variable attributes, mean, max, init, etc. A map is a hierarchical dictionary to set and modify parameters. These dictionaries can be recursively merged using an overloaded operator, uh, overloading of the operator, uh, bitwise uh, or operator. An inheritance is an example of such a merge between models that includes also concatenation of the equation arrays. The new modular uses differential equations.al. Models might have discontinuities such as a diode in an electrical circuit and switches. These are state events. It's also possible to model sample controllers that have time events and clocks. 
Models with uncertainties in parameters and initial conditions are supported through measurements.jl and Monte Carlo measurements.jl. Andrea will now talk about Modia with 3D mechanics. Thanks, Hilding. I am Andrea Nommer and I'll show you how to combine 3D mechanics with Modia. In this short video clip, you can see two cooker robots playing around with a solid ball. 3D mechanics is about physical behavior. This means each robot has mass properties. And it's also about collision handling, because the grippers are colliding with the ball. A robot consists of several links. And each link is composed of three object 3Ds. The first one defines the physical behavior, which means it's a solid geometry. And the two others are needed for connecting those links. So, if you want to learn more about 3D modeling, please have a look at JuliaCon 2019 to talk about Modia 3D. Each link is driven by a motor. And the motor is connected to the link via a gear. And it is steered by a controller. The here presented models are automatically converted from Modelica to Modia. Let's build up a U-Bot model. It consists of the 3D mechanics, where we introduce two links, and those are connected via Revolut joints. Each motor is driven by an axis. And the equations are connected with the 3D mechanics via its flanges. The here presented technique is a generic one, so you can use your own Julia models with the equation-based concept of Modia. Thanks. That's it from my part. Hilding will now continue. Thank you, Andrea. We have put emphasis on scalability recently. We want to be able to handle more than one million equations. And Julia is fast for model translations. The compilation of the generated derivative function is a bottleneck for large models. Andrea showed how we use precompiled functions for multibody models. This reduces the number of equations a lot, which results in reduced translation time, but typically more than one order of magnitude. We're using a recursive mobile as a benchmark model. It has Modia 3D bodies and revolute joints combined with Modia dampers with equations. The animation shows such a mobile with seven layers. There are 380 states. And the generated code contains 190 function calls, one for each degree of freedom, which corresponds to more than 60,000 scalar equations. We have presented a completely new design of Modia. It has similar semantics as Modelica, but is simpler. The power of Modia comes from the possibility to combine components from a subset of Modelica libraries, native Modia models, and pre-compiled models. For more information, go to the GitHub repository, modiasim slash modia, or listen to our presentation at the Modelica conference. Thank you for your attention.